Welcome to the Solar Decathlon Minute. Day five is exactly the halfway point in the assembly process, and here is event director Richard King to introduce today's stories. Today we're here to meet two teams with something to prove. One team is here to prove that they have both brains and brawn. The other team is here to prove that importing a 40-foot wall of glass from Italy is a good idea. We are Team West Virginia Rome. We're West Virginia University and the University of Rome Tor Vergata. This is our second time in the Solar Decathlon competition. We're here to present STYLE, which is pronounced STILE in Italian. It stands for Sustainable Technologies Integrated in a Learning Experience. For the last competition, there was a lot of unexpected factors that came up. One of the big things is um, this time around we built a core which houses all of our plumbing and all of our electrical and we brought that in from Morgantown already pre-made um, and that way we could build on top of that rather than rebuilding the whole house. And the house is coming along quite nicely this year. But I did notice it seems to be missing a wall. Today our biggest challenge is installing the windows. Um, we have a 40 foot long window on the south side and sliding glass window doors on the east and west sides. Um, one of the biggest challenges is they came from Italy from one of our sponsors and we had to keep them in the crate in Morgantown so that we can ship them to California. So we never got a chance to install them. Um, and here we're finding out that we need the special equipment to put them up. Um, we don't have that equipment yet, but we're really hoping to get that today. This next team's house has definitely come a long way. In fact, all the way from New York. We are New York Team Alfred with the ALF House and our school has competed in this competition for the second time, the first time we competed in China. Our strategy was to use SIPS panels, which are structurally insulated panel system, which allows us to use only two panels for our north wall instead of stick framing, which should shave us about three days in time. Their strategy seems to be working, but I can't help but noticing these students also look awfully adept with power tools. Alfred State offers a building trades program, which every one of the members of our building team are in. We are all either in carpentry, HVAC, plumbing, and electrical, which allows our house to be 100% student built. One of our biggest challenges is that we only have one instructor on site, and he has to run around and get tools and materials for us sometimes, so he's not always on the job site with us. So whenever we encounter a problem, we have to put all of our heads together and figure out a good solution. One of the problems we had to solve was we uh, accidentally knocked our house off the foundation by about two inches and our instructor, who's also our forklift operator, was not here at the time to help us figure out the problem. So we all got aboard and pushed the house back manually to the right position. That's all for today's Solar Decathlon Minute. To receive daily updates throughout the entire contest, subscribe to the City of Irvine's YouTube channel. and. Make sure you come to the Orange County Great Park because you have got to see this event for yourself. <laughs>